What's up, guys? Happy Friday, TGIF. Happy Friday, January 15th. Um, this is Paul, the Philly Flipper, back in my natural habitat, back here at the warehouse. Another busy day today. Um, what's first of all, thank you guys so much. Uh, yesterday, I passed over 400 subs which is a milestone I had for a while. Um, I was on a good track to get there last April, May. Then I just stopped posting videos because I got bored of it. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm thankful that a lot of you guys stuck through, didn't unsub, <laughs> and uh, I'm still getting some some views. And uh, I passed 400 yesterday, so that's, that's incredible. I think I had like 380 to start the day. I have like 405 as as this 405 not four or five uh, as of this morning so i got 25 views 25 subs in a day that's that's incredible thank you guys so much um everyone that's new here um i'm paul i live in the philadelphia area they call me the philly flipper by day i mean me <laughs> uh what i do is i i own a moving company that's my main source of income i employ a couple of guys and we move people for a living and then I had a hobby of reselling on the side where I would go to yard sales, thrift stores, buy stuff, sell it. And people who know me, uh, when I commit to something, I commit to something. So that hobby turned into this. You guys see all around me. That little hobby of reselling now is uh, a almost 4,000 square foot warehouse that is filled with all sorts of items that I'm selling on eBay, on Poshmark, on Mercari, or on local Facebook marketplace. Um, now I mainly do storage units. Um, that's what you're gonna be uh, seeing a lot from me. Um, I do storage units mainly. I, uh, when, the, when it becomes warmer here in Philadelphia, I'll be doing more um, yard sales and such, but right now I'm focusing on storage units. So hopefully you're into that kind of stuff. You can come with me, pick with me, flip with me, and uh, hopefully you'll be entertained and maybe you will learn a thing or two on the way. I don't promise the educational part, but I do promise the entertainment part. You will be entertained. Hopefully you will learn something. Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot again for 400. Now we're on to five. Let's see how long that takes. Um, hopefully the channel continue to grow and more and more people will be coming here and watching this ugly face sell stuff so uh yeah that's out of the way the plan for the day um is to start listing some of this stuff here like i got yesterday i want to list all the ebay stuff for it today get that out of the way start listing the local stuff today i'm going to list this brand new propane heater i'm probably going to list that microwave i'm going to list that saw and then my sister is coming here after work to take pictures of the bigger stuff and like all of these items back there and we will put them in line and get them uh sold hopefully pretty soon i have two employees that work for me um for my flipping business for the fully flipper business i have vita who does my ebay drafts um and then i have my sister sophia who does my local postings and Stuff like that just because uh i grew it pretty quickly and there's just been there's just too much work for one person to do so very happy to have both of their help so i gotta list all these things i gotta pack what's sold i gotta hit my ebay goal and then i won as you guys saw yesterday uh, a storage unit in philadelphia for 20 bucks it looks like it's full of garbage <laughs> there's probably a lot of garbage but Hopefully there's some goodies in there. 20 bucks. You, you can't go wrong with, with 20 bucks, right? Uh, so that needs to be picked up today as well. So yeah, there's a lot to do. Let me get to work. Okay, so I posted some things uh, for sale. I posted those couches today, finally. I just posted um, that heater. I grabbed what sold yesterday on eBay and Mercari. 
I've sold um, nine items on eBay. I sold one item on Mercari. On Mercari, I sold this um, Star Wars trading cards binder. This thing I was selling on eBay for probably close to a month now, if not more, and it wasn't moving. So I cross posted it to Mercari and it's sold on Mercari in less than an hour. I got 15 bucks for that. On eBay, I have a bin full of clothes right here. It's sold, I have some Aeropostale, I have Faded Glory, I have Arizona Jeans Company, and I have Candies. All those sold for under $20. Then on eBay, I sold this uh, vintage Starbucks uh, barista mug from 2001. This mug sold for $16. Um, I sold this Ryobi cordless um, circular saw. Um, just a saw, no battery. Sold a saw for $38. I sold this um, Nintendo Wii, a console, and a cable only. I tested it, it works. I got 60 bucks for that. Very surprised, very happy. Console and just the cord, $60. Cool, cool little sale there. And then I sold these um, ASICs, like uh, Tigers, you can call it Tiger shoes. Um, I got these in a storage unit. They were in a box and they look pretty brand new. Like, like, look, it looks like there's nothing, nowhere on them. So I just uh, listed them as new other. I had them up for like 60 bucks and I had them up for almost a year. They weren't moving. So I, um, sorry, got interrupted. My sister called me and said somebody's on the way for some furniture. So that's awesome. I'll get to sell that. Um, so I said I had these listed for like 60 bucks on eBay. They weren't really moving. Somebody sent me an offer this morning for 40. I was happy to take 40, so I sold these guys. And then I sold this uh, Coleman uh, mattress pump. I got these early last year, March, maybe April. I think March. Um, this is when I was trying to get creative with ways to source because my ways of sourcing were yard sales and thrift stores and everything was closed due to COVID. Um, and I found somebody on locally selling a bunch of these mattress pubs for like a dollar each. I got a whole lot of them. I've sold through most of them. I have two left now. So I had over 20. I had two left and they've been pretty consistently selling. So like less than a year, I almost sold through all of them. And this one sold for $15. This one's on the lower end. I had some that sold for like 25 or 30. Um, so mattress pumps could be a decent thing to sell as well. I believe that is it. That's all that sold. Very good day again. I hit my goal of 10. It seems like I, I'm just hitting my goal of 10. Um, hoping really soon, in six days, I should be back to top rated on eBay. Uh, so I can start promoting my listings and hoping getting more sales that way. But until then, uh, local sales, Mercari, Poshmark have been keeping me afloat. So I'm happy with that. And when I get to my new, um, when I get my top rated status, I am getting an anchor store. <laughs> Never what I have imagined when I first started doing this um, a year and a half ago now. I guess I started like this, doing this um, June of 2019. Um, never would have imagined that in a year and a half, I would be <laughs> getting an anchor store, which means I'm paying $300 a month <laughs> for eBay. The reason why I'm getting an anchor store is because I am, I am hitting over 3,000 listings. It's a lot. And with the premium store, I was paying $60 a month plus 10 cents per additional listing. So I was paying, with the premium store, I was paying 60 bucks a month for 1,000 listings plus 10 cents for each additional listing. With the Anchor Store, I'm getting 10,000 listings a month plus five cents for each additional listing. So I think I should be anchored for the rest of my life. <laughs> if I get more than 10,000 listings, I'm gonna need more space. But mainly it's all just clothes because I get it for dirt cheap. So a lot of listings are clothes. Clothes takes forever to sell, but it sells and I get really good profit margins on it. Uh, so yeah, I got, I'm getting an Anchor Store. Anchor store also gives me a, a much bigger shipping discount. Uh, so I think I get like $100 more in shipping products every three months. Uh, I get $25 free of promoted listing credits. Uh, so that's really good. Uh, I get like 
special customer service thing if i have an anchor store like i get really good customer service i guess something like that i don't know it was just worth it for me because i counted up um i like a 3300 listings right now i am paying a little more than 200 dollars a month for the listings on top of my 60 bucks so might as well just get 200 dollars so i just might as well pay for an anchor and get 10,000 listings so that was a very cool marketplace sale <laughs> did not expect that at all um remember the dresser i talked to you guys about yesterday the lee dresser i had somebody coming for on sunday that i don't do holds on i had a matching secretary that i was selling and this guy came and he wanted it he seemed like a really cool guy from ireland we, we had a nice conversation he said if you have anything else like this in this style let me know i want it and i'm like oh yeah i do i have this dresser for 50 bucks He's like sold uh, so he drove to my warehouse helped me load it he's like you got a lot of stuff in here i'm like yeah i told him i buy and sell storage units um anything you want here is for sale for cheap so he bought another nightstand for me he bought a bookshelf and he bought some art for me as well i saved my number and said that he was gonna text me or call me if he needs anything else because it seems like i have it <laughs> it's probably true so uh that was awesome this, this is like the sales that uh I love doing and uh, so I get a bunch of those like numbers now I need to start making cards for myself I have better call Paul cards I black out my number so you guys don't text me <laughs> but uh, so yeah, here's my moving company better call Paul I got these cards always on me I need to make some uh, Philly flipper cards and hand those out to people uh, so that they know what the, what, what's going on so I gave him my I gave him that card though so he has my number and he He's gonna call me in the future if anything. I have like five or six of these people now that I have my number and um, are calling me. Like sometimes even once a month, somebody calls me for something. Sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't. <laughs> like he called me this month asking for if I had an open sign. Like one of those like neon open signs. And I was like, sorry, no, I don't. <laughs> that's a very specific request. But yeah, that's cool. Oh, uh, my friend Rich from uh, Instagram, he messaged me and he found these things that's awesome he, he found what they are um they're like uh vintage magazine racks something like that and uh he found one that sold for like 125 dollars but that one was in good shape mine are in rough shape so i'm probably gonna sell mine for 100 total which i'll be very happy to get for both of them and get them out of here so thank you rich if you're watching appreciate that helped me out quite a bit um, yeah, let me continue uh, packing these things and getting them out the door. So I checked everywhere for this hardware. I could not find it. So I remember seeing it though, but v he doesn't remember seeing it. So I went to Home Depot, spent like 10 bucks, got a whole thing of these screws and then a whole thing of washers for them to make it work. Um, I like to overbuy because then I had this little like storage container here of all different kind of hardware that I use in the past that I could use again in the future. And um, that way, if I need hardware that matches this in the future, I already have it. I don't have to keep going to Home Depot and buying like eight things at a time. So I spent 10 bucks and put this together. My sister's on her way here, so I need to hurry up and get this done before she gets here. Okay, so I pretty much sorted, um, posted, listed everything from this warehouse. A couple of disappointing things. Um, this, it does not work this modem throw it out it's like a 40 40 to 50 dollar piece if it does work that sucks um that craftsman saw also did not work so that's the reason why i bought the first unit was for the saw and it did not work so that's kind of unfortunate so that decreases my um value by a little bit uh some good news is though these guys this guy right here this remote fireplace is way more pricey than i thought i thought that was like a 40 50 dollar piece um i could probably sell that for like 150 I can sell it for like about 150. If I had the remote for it, I'd probably sell it for 200 plus. But that by itself was like files for like 150, which is super shocking. Um, so that is up. These guys look really cool. This table of chairs got that posted. Got the coffee table posted. Um, by posted, I mean we got it pictured. Uh, my sister's gonna start posting it tomorrow. Um, the only thing that I did not post it from that storage unit is this tv i'm gonna clean it and test it and probably post it tomorrow myself um 
I posted this thing right here today for a hundred. Thing is blowing up. Everybody's blowing me up about it, but nobody can come because they're all working today. Uh, so I told them, hey, I'm getting here tomorrow 9 a.m. Uh, first come first serve for this thing. Uh, I had like 700 views on this thing in one day and probably almost 30 or 40 messages on it. So yeah, we got um, all that done. Vita posted more closed drafts for me today. So I am going to hit my number once again. So we totaled $623 worth of items today. Mainly it was all her and her drafts. I think I only did like a hundred from my side. That was just like the smaller stuff from um, that storage unit. Like I posted the lunar landing. I posted that, I posted uh, the subwoofer. I posted a precious moments that was in there too. Cool little precious moments figurine in box coming easy to ship it with the box uh so i only did 100 the rest of it was clothes that she posted and so big number i also did a donation buy today where i bought some clothes from uh a seller i went through half of it i got five bags paid her five bucks a bag so 25 dollars for everything i went through like three bags got a whole bin of clothes vita for you <laughs> i know you like that uh, some some decent brands, some Michael Kors in there and stuff like that. So that was pretty cool to find. And she had some cool um, band tees, like a Nirvana t-shirt, Britney Spears, uh, Guns N' Roses. So uh, that should uh, be some decent postings there. And then I still have two bags that I will go through. That I'll probably go through either tonight or tomorrow. The bags are right there. used to be there so yeah i have like a never-ending supply of inventory i just i need to i just need to post it <laughs> it's as simple as that it's about like 10 p.m now i think i'm gonna call all night I'm gonna go home get some rest I have to come back here at 9 a.m tomorrow because i have three pickups scheduled I get a dead taken care of start posting things and then uh hopefully have time to go get the storage unit tomorrow from philly it's gonna be it for me guys peace out